Hey guys, in this video, I want to compare side by side the Bissell Spot Pro Extractor that sits at like 180 bucks to the Mighty Light 8070 Heated Carpet Extractor, which is more like 1200 bucks. So just for a little context for this comparison, I'm basically cleaning these floor mats as much as they could possibly be cleaned. I call it hitting the reset button. I'm spraying them, drenching them with cleaner, then I'm drenching it with water, then I'm steam cleaning it, pressure washing all that stuff out, and then I'm using these extractors to pull out that excess water and the excess cleaner because I think the best way to compare both of these extractors is not so much how much PSI does the spray nozzle spray out or what are the exact side-by-side -side results that I could get with either one of them on an equally dirty mat, but rather how much am I able to actually pull out of the carpet in terms of carpet cleaner and water when I use them side-by-side, -side. so specifically looking at the suction power. So we'll start with the Bissell Spot Pro here. You guys can see I'm using the extractor just like I said to pull out all of that excess water, excess chemical, excess cleaner from these floor mats after they've been totally drenched. So it's a really good comparison in terms of looking at the suction power because there's just so much liquid inside of the carpets. Now there's one really important thing to talk about in terms of the Bissell Spot Pro in this situation. But before we talk about that, a quick PSA. If you guys have not yet registered for the live free training I'm hosting on September 15th to teach you guys how to scale your detailing business to five grand a month in recurring revenue on a foundation of maintenance clients, make sure to go below in the YouTube description box, hit the link and register with your email because the spots fill up really quickly. It's been over a year and a half since I last hosted hosted a free business training like this, so I want to make sure you guys don't miss your spot. We're talking about how to go full-time detailing for you part-timers or how to start for those of you who haven't started, and even for those of you who have already started but you're not making the money you want, I want to teach you guys the exact formula to build thousands of dollars a month in recurring revenue on autopilot through simple maintenance clients without paid ads, without paying for a bunch of business cards and flyers, without buying a van or a nice garage, and without dealing with nasty cars and terrible clients. The link to register is in the YouTube description box below. Put in your email, register your spot, and I'll see you guys there. The Bissell Spot Pro in this situation pulled out all of the water and you guys are going to see with both of these extractors we did pull out kind of maximum water from the carpets and then they're just going to have to dry in the sun so we did get to the same end result with both of these extractors the question is how much time does it take using the Bissell rather than using the Mighty using the Bissell extractor with the small head attachment I was able to pull all of the water out of the mat let's call it after four passes what I mean is pulling the extractor one way all the way down moving the mat to the side doing the same thing, pulling the extractor all the way down, moving it again, doing the same thing, and moving it a fourth time, doing the same thing to make sure I hit all the carpet fibers at every angle that I possibly can. Yes, doing that, and then of course going over some areas got me to that end result, but it took almost double the time that it took with the Mighty. Now I want to jump over real quick so you guys can see me using the Mighty. Again, the suction power of the Mighty is noticeably better, of course, as you would expect for a $1,200 extractor, right? But it's particularly noticeable when we put them side by side. As soon as you finish using the Bissell and you move to the Mighty, you realize that the Mighty is actually so powerful relative to the Bissell that it kind of pulls the carpet up off the ground. I had to hold the carpet down and then use the Mighty to pull all of that water out. So you guys can see side by side, probably not a big visual difference, right? It just looks like two extractors pulling excess chemical and water out of the carpets. But like I said, there is a obvious suction difference when you put them side by side like this. And the Mighty pulled out all of that excess water. Literally in one single pass. I didn't even have to go over the mat more than once if I didn't want to. Now as we continue to watch what these extractors do in this particular situation, the Bissell Spot Pro I normally say is great for beginners who don't yet have the budget to invest in something like the Mighty. I do want to lend some credence to the Bissell Spot Pro in this situation because as I was using it I was thinking to myself when I blast floor mats like this and I pressure wash them and I basically extreme clean them as much as possible, I sometimes don't want to pull out my my big, mighty, heavy extractor to pull out the excess water to then let the floor mats dry in the sun because it's so much easier to throw around this machine even as, as I'm sitting here, right? It's just really light and portable. So if I'm just pulling out excess water and that's the only goal I have with the extractor at the time, I might just reach for the Bizzle Spot Pro to pull out the excess because it's all I need. And while it takes a little bit more time, the sun is gonna be taking care of most of it anyways. So this could get me to the end result I want in less time in some sense because it's just an easier machine to deal with. That being said, a few points to come down really hard on is which one is more powerful in terms of suction. The Mighty is undoubtedly more powerful in terms of suction. I would say it's probably five to six times more powerful than the Bissell Spot Pro and you really notice it when you use them side by side like I did. Number two, which one are you going to get a greater cleaning ability from? That's the million dollar question and I think the answer is it actually depends. The biggest differentiator I would make between both of these extractors is not your ability to get to an end 
result. It's the time frame in which it takes to get to that end result. Could I get the same result with the Bissell or the Mighty? Probably in terms of spot cleaning or just general carpet shampooing. You could look at two mats that I used one or the other on and you wouldn't be able to tell which one I used which machine on simply because most of this has to do with the type of chemical you're using and the precondition of the carpet that you're dealing with in the first place. That being said, maybe the third question would be which one has a stronger PSI in terms of the sprayer that actually sprays the water out? Of course, the answer is going to be the Mighty. It also sprays a much more, let's call it atomized or vaporized type of spray or water hitting the carpet. And not only does it have a higher pressure, a higher PSI, but it also spreads far more evenly across the carpet than the Bissell Spot Pro does. And so on all accounts, the Mighty obviously comes out as a better extractor in terms of PSI suction and generally the time frame that it's going to take for you to get to any end result. But the reason why I like looking at these things side by side is because that number one variable that really differentiates them, it comes down to the time frame, not necessarily your ability to get to an end result, which makes sense to me why the Bissell Spot Pro is so popular in the detailing world because if it takes a little bit more time, but it's easier on your wallet and you can get to the same end result, I get why a lot of detailers want to default to something like this. Now I will say I like having both of these in my arsenal because I like, like I said, to pull out this when it's easy and I just want something small to throw around. But when I'm doing some more industrial grade work, the Mighty obviously makes more sense for me. And the reason why I compare these more than anything else on suction power is because the truth is the suction ability of an extractor is really the number one thing that you and I are concerned about as professional detailers. It's how powerfully can it pull out from the carpet. And of course the Mighty wins by a landslide. Now guys, as always, I'll be hooking up both of these links to the products in the YouTube description box below, as well as my favorite carpet cleaners and stuff like that for those of you who want to check them out. And like I said earlier, make sure if you're not yet registered for that live free training I'm hosting on September 15th to learn how to build your detailing business with the exact process that has been time tested, proven to work to put thousands of dollars a month in your pocket on autopilot. So you don't have to go learn from your own mistakes and waste your own money. Join me at that live free training. It's very rare that I host these. And so I always make sure to tell you guys not to wait because these spots do fill up. Link is in the YouTube description box below. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video.